You will remember, those of you who know the details, Nigeria was living under a siege at a particular time. There was a reign of terror by a military president. And then he wanted to transform to a civilian president. And then his abalis told him, this your plan cannot come to pass because of a certain man who is praying at a place called camp. Unless you remove that man, the plan won't work. And so information came to me. Sir, they are coming for you. And in those days, when they come for you, that's the end of the story. As an ordinary human being, when I heard that, I was troubled. I didn't tell my wife. But I, I, got, I got out. I said, I'm going for my prayer walk. It wasn't an ordinary prayer walk that day. I've just been praising God for a while before I prayed when God spoke to me and said, hey, son, don't worry yourself. I will take care of the situation. I prophesy to somebody here today, every force ganging up against you shall be scattered. was a Tuesday of the week of the Holy Ghost service. And daddy said to me, son, as soon as your children gather, ask each one to greet his fellow and say, Happy New Year. In June, I came because I know his voice, he's my commander in chief. I announced it to the people, crazy as it may sound. I said, Go ahead, greet one another and say Happy New Year. They didn't query me, they just greeted. By the following Monday, we knew why we were celebrating. Can you shake hands with one or two people and say Happy New Year? <laughs> because a new year is beginning for you now. Let, let me close, let me close, because uh, 